I love the concept of the world changing into a world of a story that you read. And apparently Webtoon loves it too, since there are so many that are coming out nowadays. And, and like, I know it'll probably never happen, you know? But like, what if it does? And I'm not reading the Webtoon the world becomes. You're reading over 200 Webtoon series and that's your thought process? Yes? Shy, you need help. I'm aware. Omniscient Reader is one of my recent favorite webtoon series. The series is an interesting take on the isekai genre. But if you're not a weeb, the series follows Doja Kim, as the world as he knows it transforms into the world of his favorite serialized web novel, Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. And the best part? Only he's read it all. So only Doja Kim knows what's going on in the world, and knows how to play the system, avoid problems, and become one of the smartest people in the world. I love this series. I'm a real big fan of the almost game-like world they're put into. The systems, the quests, the art, the comedy, the action, it's all spectacular. And if you haven't read it, then what are you doing here? Go and read it, it's an enjoyable experience. Now that that's out of the way, an interesting part of this series is that interesting take on the isekai genre I mentioned. But that's kind of a wrong statement. You see, an isekai thing is something along the lines of being transported into a different, usually fantasy world. Sometimes the fantasy world is one of a novel or a game or a webtoon, but whatever, sometimes it isn't. The point is being transported into a world. There are a couple of webtoon series that follow this genre. Uh, First Night with the Duke, Tricked into Being a Heroine Stepmother, The Male Leads Girlfriends. Wow, most of these are romance, huh? Hmm. Anyways, the reason I say it's an interesting take is because our main character Doja Kim isn't really transported into the world of Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse, more that the world itself is transported into the real world as Doja Kim isn't the only person from the real world there, as there are supposedly a bunch of people from the real world, like Doja Kim's co-worker Sangha Yu, or his boss Nyong'o Han, or this child Gilyong Lee. People from the real world very clearly exist in this world. However, there are many people from the web novel that live in said world, as two members from his team only existed in the world of the novel. And the main character of Three Ways Survive the Apocalypse, Jun Yuk Yu, is an ever-present member of the webtoon. The reason this is important is because unlike a lot of other isekai content, the ever-present idea of the real world versus the novel world is a constant. And it very clearly makes sense. Let me explain. Like I said, most isekai content is a person being transported into a unique and usually fantasy world, retaining most of the knowledge from their real world. And because of it, they have basic skills that are considered amazing from their world. The reason it's interesting is because it's usually just one person in a new fantasy world. They kind of just accept their new world as valid and true. And why wouldn't they? They interact with people, places, items, and often magic. But the reason they usually accept it is because they don't really have something to tie them to the real world. They usually don't have another person, another access to their old world. Their fantasy world is practically their new world. The reason Omniscient Reader is different is because their new world is still technically their old world. Their fantasy world is practically their old world. People still have a connection to their world. They're not in this alone, you know? There are a lot of real people there, but there are also a lot of real places there. A lot of the real history is there as well. So that begs the question, what's the difference? Since their gang is made of members from the real world and from the novel, how people are they? I, I know that's grammatically incorrect, Google Docs. But the question still stands. Are people from a novel people or characters? 
If a person's entire life is written before you and given to you, could you still make a connection with them? Is it wrong to? There's a term going around nowadays that's becoming more and more relevant. Not because of webtoon or isekai content, but because of this. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, television, media in general. But mainly because of influencers. And that term is parasocial relationships. You might or might not be familiar with the term parasocial relationships, but in short, it's a type of relationship, much like a friendship or a romantic relationship. However, parasocial relationships have come much more into the spotlight because of what type of relationship they are. According to findthepsychologist.org, huh, I might know some webtoon characters who could use this site, it defines this relationship as one-sided relationships where a person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other person's existence. Parasocial relationships are most common with celebrities, organizations such as sports teams, and television stars. They're the relationship you have with people who don't know you exist. Celebrities are kind of the most clear example of this, and while the term has been around since the radio, which makes sense, it's basically the first time people would ever be able to make a connection like this. However, it's become much more of a talking point due to celebrities and influencers. However, while it's not usually, I like applying it to TV shows, movies, webtoon series, and novels. These characters don't know that we exist, and they will never know, because they don't exist. I spent a lot of emotional energy, interest, and a whole heck of a lot of time into characters and worlds that don't even exist. And that's not a problem. I think parasocial relationships get a bad rap nowadays, especially from an older generation. And no, this is not an excuse for my 200 plus sub lists or even my career, but just because of how important these relationships are to myself and many of you. The reason that Spiel was important ties back to Omniscient Reader. The thought that characters that never existed, characters that Doja Kim connected with, characters that he's fallen in love with, rooted for, hated, admired, respected, characters like Jean Yuk Yu, someone who had the strength to make a change in the world, or his teammate, Hyung Sun Lee, someone who he admired as his sense of justice remained in a world of chaos. Doja Kim loved the world of Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. It's a world he relied on. A world that got him through terrible and awful times and days. This connection was important. So when they came to life, an important question arose. How real are they? What's the line between characters and real people? Are characters that come to life still characters or are they people? How would you feel if you were just a character in a novel? If your life, personality, identity was pre-written down and read by, well, one person, but still. Many of these people are just characters. So more often than not, Doja Kim feels, well, a little conflicted. He's been attached to many of these characters and now they're fighting side by side in a world of chaos. Are they real? Is their connection real? Is Doja Kim allowed to have this connection? Are they even human? There are a couple things that deter me from saying 100% yes to that last one. Like I mentioned, many of these characters are from a web novel. However, there are a handful that aren't. I already mentioned a couple people, but two new arrivals are Sun Gluck Lee and Mi Sob Jean. And what's curious is what they've done and think as these characters have also read Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. Granted, only the first couple chapters, but there's still people who read and know about the series. People who know that many other people in this world are just characters from a novel. The interesting thing is when they tell them that they're just characters from a novel, everyone just kind of shrugs it off. They think they're joking, and why wouldn't they? If someone came up to you and said you were from a novel, you'd laugh it off or think they were crazy. But what's interesting is when Doja Kim poses a question. What do you think the difference is between characters and us? To which Shangguk Lee responds with, 
Hmm, we're real people. They're just fictional characters from a novel. Real people? Fictional characters? The line surely faded when they became... people. Look, the point of this webtoon was to talk about a topic touched in Omniscient Reader. It's a cool concept that both real and fictional characters now live in a world together, defining the line as real and not. But that's also an interesting question to bring into the real world. Look, you guys are smart. You understand that celebrities and influencers are people. People who make mistakes, who learn, who grow, who develop, and change. And I really hope that you know parasocial relationships are healthy. That everyone has them. It's understandable to be connected with someone on the other side of a screen. Someone who you probably never talk to. Someone who might not ever know you'll exist. That if people are bugging you about how you love a YouTuber or an author, or an artist, or even a webtoon character, you know better. Because these characters' lives, personalities, their relationship with you impacts your life, hopefully for the better. But that's all for this week. So like always, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you next week. Take care.